Hello. Thank you for watching my baby stash channel. Please remember to subscribe and press on the doorbell if you like my videos, so you get notifications when new videos are released. Thank you. Today we are going to talk about facts regarding preterm babies, which is of huge concern for any new moms or new dads to be. Based on latest study record from the WHO, World Health Organization. There are 15 million babies born too soon each year in the world. It's very sad. Also, according to the report, 1.1 million preterm babies die every year in the world. But do you know, with very inexpensive treatment, actually, 75% could have survived. Let me ask you a question. Are you a new mom or new dad? Or do you know any of your friends, relatives, who will have newborn babies? If this applies to any of you, you will know the exciting feeling as well as the anxiety that something might go wrong, especially when it is approaching the last a few weeks of the pregnancy period. In terms of preterm babies, according to the WHO report, there are over 1 million of those preterm babies die shortly after they were born. The reasons of the death, unfortunately, were reported due to physical, neurological, or educational disabilities, which are lifelong problems. You may imagine how much of the financial cost as well as mental distress of an infant death would apply to the family and the society when it happens. However, we do have good news. The good news is, if the preterm babies can be provided with some care and treatments and no expensive care is actually needed just some inexpensive care would be able to save an estimated three quarters of the preterm babies who would eventually die without those treatments Another topic is, you may want to ask this question. Is the problem of preterm births confined to low-income countries? The answer is surprisingly no. According to the WHO report that we talk about, the United States and Brazil both rank among the top 10 countries with the highest number of preterm births. And you know, both of these countries are not considered low-income countries. In the United States, sadly, for example, around 12%, which means over one out of nine of all births babies are preterm. Let's look at the numbers. The top 10 countries with the highest numbers of preterm births are India, China, 
Nigeria, Pakistan, Indonesia, United States, Bangladesh, Philippines, Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Brazil. Well, if you look at the opposite side of this, the top 10 countries with the lowest rates of preterm births are Belarus, Ecuador, Latvia, Finland, Croatia, Samoa, Lithuania, Estonia, Barbuda, Japan, and Sweden. Therefore, Here is the big question. What are the reasons of preterm births? Indeed, according to the WHO report, in high income countries such as United States, the preterm births are strongly related to those situations where older women are having babies. Also, it is linked to the use of fertility drugs. In addition, when we think about the problem in developed countries, such as China, there was a trend of medical decisions to do C-section surgery on pregnant women to deliver babies before full term, which is unnecessary in a lot of cases. Then, in many low-income countries, such as countries in South Africa, babies are born preterm due to people are facing much higher challenges from infections during pregnancy, HIV, etc. The difference of the baby's survival rates between low-income and high-income countries for babies born before 28 weeks is huge. That is to say, over 90% of the preterm babies born before 28 weeks, which is considered very, very preterm, die within the first few days of life. To compare to that, only less than 10% of babies born before 28 weeks die in high-income countries. Do you have a clear idea of when to deliver the baby is defined as preterm? Here we want to give you the exact definition. According to the standard WHO definition, preterm babies are defined in these three categories. First one is called extremely preterm. These babies are those born before 28 weeks of pregnancy for the mom. In order to survive in this sad situation when babies are born before 28 weeks, the baby would require the most intensive and expensive care. Although providing the good care can have a high chance of 90% to survive in high income countries, the babies may still have to suffer from lifelong physical, neurological, 
and learning disabilities versus only 10% of the extremely preterm babies can survive. Then we talk about the second category, which is called very preterm versus extremely preterm. So the very preterm babies are those born between 28 and 32 weeks with the extra up to four additional weeks before born. These very preterm babies have a much higher chance to survive and they do require some extra supportive care comparing to very intensive and expensive care. Then the third category of preterm babies is called late preterm. These babies are born between 32 and 37 weeks. These babies are much more lucky and they account for 84% of total preterm births. The survival chance is also much, much higher. So, let me ask a question. Do you think there must be some very expensive care or treatment in order to save preterm babies' lives? Make sense? Not really true. The fact is, according to the WHO report, experts say there are many effective and inexpensive methods that can be used, which can save at least three quarters of the babies in the developing world. Do you want to know what those methods are? Let me list them out directly from the report. There is something called antenatal steroid injections that moms can get in pre-material labor, which costs only US dollar, just one US dollar for an injection. This helps develop immature fetal lungs and prevent many, many other lung problems. Yet, in low-income countries, there are only available and provided for 10% of those in need. This alone could save almost 400,000 lives of babies a year. And there is something called kangaroo care where the infant is held skin to skin on the mother's chest to keep warm. The warmth is very important for premature infants. That can save 450,000 lives a year. Kangaroo care makes frequent breastfeeding easy and provides constant maternal supervision for the infant. There are also antibiotics to prevent and fight infection, an important cause of the preterm death. So next time, we will talk more about preterm baby topic and what can be done to reduce premature births. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and press on the doorbell so you get notification when there is new videos to be released.